Okay, didn't really know what to call this one. Uh, in disyield equations, super hard. Uh, there's going to be some quadratic action in these ones. Uh, so the first one's going to be actually not super hard, but it's at least more difficult. Uh, the next two get progressively harder. So let's do the first one. Uh, 2 to the power of x minus 16 times 2 to the x plus 4 equals 0. Uh, you could try expanding this, but you're only going to get yourself into a bit of mess. What you can do instead is use your null factor theorem. Uh, some of you might know what that is, some of you will. The null factor theorem says that if this, so this thing here, times this thing here is equal to 0, either this thing will be equal to 0 or this thing will be equal to 0. Uh, it's how you solve a quadratic equation that's been factorized, which is like this. Uh, so this means that either 2x minus 16 equals 0, or 2 to the x plus 4 equals 0. Now if we solve both of these, we'll see that 2 to the x equals 16. Just move the negative 16 to here, it becomes positive 16. Uh, equate the bases. 2 to the x equals uh, 2 to the 2, 4, 8, 16, 2 to the 4. Therefore, x equals 4. Now, here's our or. Uh, 2 to the x equals negative 4. And then when you look at that, 2 to the power of something equals negative 4. Uh, it's not possible. Uh, then that means that x has uh, no real solution there. No real solution. Uh, just doesn't work. So in this particular case, there's only one answer for this, uh, x equals 4. In some of the next that we do, you'll see that there can be more than one answer in these. Okay, so continuing on here, um, just a quick jump. 3 to the power of 2x minus 12 times uh, 3 to the power of x plus 27 equals 0. Uh, now, it might not be immediately apparent, but this is a sort of a quadratic equation. Uh, you really need to be able to recognize these if you're going to do, do any kind of work here. Uh, so first step, uh, as usual, we can equate the bases here. Oh, actually, we won't equate the bases. Instead, we'll look at 3 to the power of 2x and come to the realization that that is 3 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 12 times 3 to the power of x plus 27 equals 0. Now, it's a pretty big mental jump here, so you're really going to have to be able to recognize this. 3 to the power of 2x minus 12 times 3 to the x plus 27. That's going to come through practice uh, doing these kind of questions. Uh, the reason we need to make that mental jump is because of this. Uh, I'm going to let 3 to the power of x equal a. Now, if I let 3 to the power of x equal a and rewrite everything, I end up with a squared minus 12 times a plus 27 equals 0. Uh, now you can factorize this um, or you can type it into your calculator and hit solve or you can uh, use the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a whatever choice you use however you'll get two answers or you should get two answers for this quadratic equation a equals 3 and a equals 9 Okay, for this quadratic equation, there are two answers, a is equal to 3 and a is equal to 9. Uh, if that's the case, remember up here, we let 3 to the power of x equal a. So that means either 3 to the power of x equals 3 or 3 to the power of x equals 9. Okay, so that means that therefore x equals 1 in this case, because 3 to the power of x equals 3, 3 to the power of 1 equals 3. And in this case, uh, if we equate the bases, 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 2 
therefore, therefore, x equals 2. Okay, uh, a much harder indicial equation to look at uh, and not very intuitive. Not uh, You're going to have to practice those a bit, uh, practice being able to spot them. Otherwise, you're going to get really, really confused when it comes to doing those.